So what do you think is an assumption or a misconception that other people have about you? Oh, that I'm stuck up or that I have an attitude. Um, but I'm not stuck up. It's just that um, I'm very reserved naturally. Um, I think it's also because of, of the way I grew up. So I've always, I've always been cautious about what people may think of me. So I'm just naturally shy, but not stuck up. Yeah. Well, why do you think they get that from you? Um, because I don't naturally just open up to people. That's just always been my thing. Like, I can't just open up to people. For me, it's like I have to, like, move in slowly to see if that person um, will respond well to me. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I just, I've always had, like, this uh, social anxiety thing. I don't know. So what would you like those people to actually know about you? Um, that I'm pretty cool, man. Pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's, it's so straightforward. Like, I'm, I'm pretty chill. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so how do you think the current society has influenced how you see yourself as others? Um, obviously, the ideals around beauty, like, have been created by, like, white society and we're just trying to live up to them. But I think now, um, the issue is definitely in in the black community and like we're fighting amongst ourselves when it comes to that, especially women, black women amongst themselves. So I think more than anything, I'm just learning to be to be as unique as possible, um, which I think is more beautiful than anything. And the issues that you speak about in the black community of black women, does that go back to, for you personally, does it go back to the whole, um, is it more of the whole physique or is it like light skin or what exactly? Um, I just think we, I think we're for each other when it suits us. Um, I've noticed that um, between, between um, skinny and thick girls, um, that when we're all, like they always like oh um oh my gosh i hate my body i hate my body blah blah but then when a guy says oh no i like a girl with a little meat or whatever then all of a sudden you you're, you feel empowered so how is that how is that you loving you how is that you loving yourself and then there's that issue of um because you know um light skin it has been like deemed as beautiful in our community I feel like now that dark skin is slowly starting to become accepted it's like light skin people feel offended so it's like I feel like we just need to find a balance of just f like knowing that either or is okay yeah uh, uh. so <clears throat> oh eyebrows oh yes <laughs> my eyebrows <laughs> Um, I would say, I think in the way I talk my opinions, because I'm very opinionated, and um, through, through acting, that's one of the, the ways that I feel like I can express myself, um, I, I immediately clinged onto it when I did it in high school, because it just felt like, it felt like home to me that I could just, I could, being, being able to express to be someone else but at the same time it's also reflecting you yeah if that makes sense it does it yeah. does face girl <laughs> the rest let's get it uh oh okay Awesome, 
Okay, then our last question. What do you think or what would you say is the most important lesson in your life that you've learned thus far? Um, I think I've learned to let things be, to just let nature take its course and what will be will be. Absolutely. Do you find do you find that there's maybe a lot of pressure, you know, where you are in your life to kind of like stay in control and to kind of move things forward? Definitely. Um, I think there's just too many, there's too many voices and like expectations of what you should be and where you should be in life right now. And I think, and I think I'm only 23. Like I'm so young and there's just so many things that I still want to achieve and I need to accept that everything is a process and you're exactly where you're meant to be right now in this moment. And probably I, I should look at it as um, I'm further than where I was maybe, <laughs> I don't know when. So just appreciating what you have achieved right now. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, thank you so yeah. much for coming here. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. It was so good. good.